Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Princeton is brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Kearney is brought to you by Clara Mass Medical Center in Belleville. We've got high stakes soccer here in the Group 4 final. Maybe the best championship game of the day. Kearney and Princeton clash with a state title on the line. Princeton could not have dreamed of a better start. Only 14 seconds into the game, freshman Harvey Smith puts the Little Tigers in front. Smith is having a great rookie season. Princeton goes up 1-0 in the blink of an eye. But Carney responds, Denilson Salinas takes a free kick, and Hans Zoller scores on the redirection. Zoller is one of the best center backs in the entire state. He evens this game up in the 12th minute. And Salinas would not be done. Only 80 seconds later, he finds shooting space and rips one through all that traffic for a goal. Carney buries back-to-back -back strikes, and they go into intermission with a 2-1 lead. Into the second half now, Princeton finds itself in a precarious spot. They have not trailed in many games. This is uncharted territory, but they fight back. Pasquale Carasone draws even. That is a massive goal. In the 47th minute, we've got a 2-2 game. A great little pop pass from Harvey Smith sets Carasone up for his 28th goal of the season. Princeton is right back in it. Now to the late stages of the second half. The Little Tigers are on the attack. It's played in. Archie Smith chases it down. He gets a piece, and a Carney defender knocks it in. It will go down in the book as an own goal, but Archie Smith made that happen. Princeton surges in front in the 77th minute, and they hang on to win the Group 4 state title. 3-2 to two is the final. It's the fourth group championship for Princeton, and it's the first outright title since they won it all back in 2009. The Little Tigers finish off a magical season at 21-2, and, and it comes after a marquee win over a Blue Blood program. This team is so confident, and they never they never change the way that they feel. And you know, I knew that even though we were down at halftime, we were going to score a goal, and we we're going to make this thing uh, ours. Uh, honestly, it, it feels so amazing, just especially because my brother scored, and I, I love my brother so much. And yeah, it just feels so good to come out on top, and especially for some of the seniors. We have a lot of seniors on this team, and it feels so good for that this is their last game and this is their final walk. Well, going, like after the half, coach just told us we got to stay resilient, stay in this game, keep composed, and we did that. We fought back, and then Pasquale managed to score that really good goal to get us right back in the game. Late game goal. I mean, we. We got the early goal we wanted. We let down two goals, but then pushed through, got my goal, then Archie clutched up in like two minutes left. That was the great, greatest goal ever. Reporting from Franklin High School, I'm Jay Cook, JerseySportsZone.com.